few of the audience, thank you. Hello, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have a nice set this time, the junior set. Come on, the children here and color in the mess. So, can you stand back and let him? Uh, Thank you. 
girls, we're back to a nice poem here from three lovely girls called Kelly and Frida and Deborah Barrett from Calgary Cooling, who are going to give you a, a poem called Come On To Me. Well, you're very welcome to join my show. This is Dunham Murphy here for the next hour or so. Tonight we're in Crowley's Lounge Bar in Carraganema. <laughs> and just as I walked in there, there was beautiful set dancers, young set dancers, and also three lovely ladies here alongside me to give a beautiful recitation. And then we had the sound of Peter Lane and the Blackwater sound, lovely music. And <laughs> this evening we're doing a dual program, one for local television in the McCroom, Carraganema area. And the other one is for our car community radio. And our next guest this evening is someone to sing for us, David McCarthy, for a song. Oh, my lovely rose of Claire, you're the sweetest girl I know. You're the queen of all the roses. Like the pretty flowers that grow You are the sunshine of my life So beautiful and fair And I will always love you My lovely rose of Claire The sun it shines out like a jewel on the lovely hills of Clare When I strode around with my sweet lass One evening at the fair Her eyes they shone like silver streams With her lovely golden hair I've won the heart of a young sweet lass my lovely rose of Clare. Oh, my lovely rose of Clare. You're the sweetest girl I know. You're the queen. 
queen of all the roses, like the pretty flowers that grow. You are the sunshine of my life, so beautiful and fair. And I will always love you, my lovely rose of clair. We walk down by the river bank, watch the Shannon flowing by, and listen to the nightingale singing songs for you and I. And now to say farewell to all you true and fair, for I've won the heart of a lovely sweet lass my lovely rose of clare for oh, my lovely rose of clare you're the sweetest girl i know you're the queen of all the roses like the pretty flowers that grow you are the sunshine of my life so beautiful and fair and I will always love you my lovely Rose of Clare To dance a reel <laughs> Now we have a polka set with Ed Anderson on the floor for the polka and uh, Anthony Kelleher 
Sinead Roach, Anthony O'Leary, Mary O'Leary, Brendan Healy, Arlene Roach, Norm McCarthy, and Norma Welsh. And then music this time by the Blackwater Sound. Now we've done it already, one of the Blackwater Sound Group, and he's going to sing for us Rogie Bay. <laughs> Thank you. 
campaigners on the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, great friends. <laughs> great friends. <laughs> so I'll go over to Donny and I'll ask you a few questions. Donny, how are things, Donny? Oh, not too bad. Enjoying our music all the time? Yes, fine too, anyway. And you enjoy being out most tonight, I suppose, too? Uh, except for the late night, yes. No problem getting up in the morning? You used to be joking. <laughs> <laughs> morning? Oh, dear. What did the wife say about it? She loves me very much. She doesn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose she loves the money. <laughs> And that was the boys there in the Blackwater Sound, and if you're looking for a good band, uh, great music, the Blackwater Sound, and they're... Where could I contact you, Peter, if I wanted a band for the night? Contact me at 029 if I'm at home. My mother was in next door, she'll do it to me. <laughs> Is she the secretary? <laughs> Give us the number again. 029 and I have some cards in the car if anybody wants some photographs. So, the two that give most if anyone wants to. Let's so that's fine, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Day in the Blackwater Sound. And if you want a booking, don't forget to call and see the boys. <laughs> right. And now we've been to Kenner from Grown at Carraganima, and she's going to do some dancing for us. <laughs> Linda Keller, they're a beautiful dancer. What age are you, Linda? Ten. Do you go in any competition? Yeah, in the Sandra Do you win anything? Yeah. How many medals have you now? Well, have you a thirty? That's yeah. great. Give her a big hand, everybody. Yeah, wonderful. And how long are you learning? 
Yeah, since I started school. You started school? Yeah. Ah, sure, you were an old warrior of the game, were you? Yeah. Did you just plan to have the only place you go to? I, I learned step dance in the room and the fish of drawers in front of her. Yeah. Do you ever go to Mid Street now? No. Or any other place? Cork sometimes. Competition is very keen yeah. in Cork, is it? Yeah. How about your way to Evelyn for him? Yeah. Big hand there for a lovely young dancer. Mm-hmm. And now we've a lovely group of young set dancers. Their names are Anthony Kelleher, Sinead Roach, Anthony O'Leary, Mary O'Leary, Brendan Healy, Arlene Roach, Norm McCarthy, and Norma Welch, and they're going to dance for us a full slide. Michael Welch with us this evening to play Sweeney's Polka. with Pat Lane from Carter Downey, great favourites around here, and he's going to sing The Bunch of Violets Blue. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was out in the moonlit garden, not far from the ball on the ground. A young lad and his sweetheart were stolen hand in hand. Tomorrow the war would call him, he vowed he would be true. In from a dress he gave to him a bunch of violets blue. There were only a bunch of violets. A bunch of violet blue Just fresh and fair and dainty Like diamonds on the dew Fresh and fair and 
fragrance as you break them to his heart. His mind and sense were really wrong from the mean air of our farm. A soldier by a dying upon the cold, cold ground. A bunch of women of violence Upon his breast was found Yet turning to his comrade In a fearful way he sang Oh, take him back and tell her That I wasn't until I died There were only a bunch of islands A bunch of violets blue Fresh and fresh Diamonds on the hill Fresh and fair and fragrant As he pressed them to his heart His mind and sense were really wrong From the green air of park They took away the violet sign They'd been on her wedding day for an old man bold and wonder From a soldier far away For an old man bold and wonder From a soldier young and tall And this is what she said to him That evening at the ball There were only a bunch of islands a bunch of violet blue Fresh and fair and dainty Great diamonds on the dew Fresh and fair and fragrant As he pressed them to his heart They smiled and said Where is it long From the mean air was far They were only a bunch a bunch of violet clothes Fresh and fair and dainty Like diamonds on the dew Fresh and fair and fragrant As he pressed into far He smiled and said Where is it wrong From the mean air would far so he smiled and said, Hey, hey, Rom, from them he never was far. That was Pat Lane, ladies and gentlemen. Pat is a great singer. You said you were from Caradoni. Where's that, Pat? It's not a moment, Mr. Lane. A bit above the tone, is it? It's not a moment, it's only here. Oh, yeah. Do you bring the missus with you tonight? No, I shouldn't come and have some aids. No, she wouldn't trust me. Wouldn't she? No. You usually go to. I know the father and mother here, but they said that she made me good enough for them, they. Where is she from? I want to do that, they. I can't tell that. Is she married? I said, I don't think he is, you know. You'll have to see for yourself. Actually, I don't know where to find her. No, you'll have to have her from her, you know. Did I say, you know? I do my best, you know. I always stick with a band, no? I stay with the place before, like for the. That's for me, that's how I wouldn't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I was completely wrong, I think. Thank you, great sound, yeah. I used to have a black one before, like, for the... Yeah. They got you, they got you, a bit of bogey, did they? Yeah, they did, yeah, they... That's how I wouldn't have enough, that, uh... I, I wasn't on it, that's before, like. Oh, yeah. That's not here, right? And I think you're a great singer, and if there's any band out there looking for a good singer, you'll demand to meet it. Oh, contact me. <laughs> right, sure, Pat, thank you very much. Yeah, mate. Thank you very much. And now we have Dinny Leary, and he's going to give us a recitation, and it's called The Last Confession. Right, Dinny. With the sign of the cross in my forehead, as I kneel in that cold dungeon floor, I kneel at your feet, Reverend Father, and no one but God to the fore. With my heart opened out to your readings, and no hope or part of release, from that death that at daybreak tomorrow is staring me straight in the face. 
I have taught you the faults of my boyhood, the follies and sins of my youth. I know of this crime of my manhood, I will speak with the same open truth. It's true, sir, the land was our people for ninety good years in its toil, and what once was a fair bit of mountain was brought into good wheat bearing soil. It was our hands around the walls of the cabin where our children were born and bred, where our weddings and christenings made merry, and we waked and cleaned our old dead. We were honest and fair to the landlord. We paid him his rent to the day. And it was not our fault that our hot sweat he squandered and wasted away. In the car, in the dice, and the race course, and often in deep of his grace, that no tongue could relate without bringing a blush to an honest man's face. But the day came at last that I worked for, the castle, the mansions, the lands. They should hold and trust for the people till their shame passed away from their hands. And all class served to into action. By many the acres were sought, and what cares the stranger that purchased who made the good soil that they bought? They stated was worth six times in money, and maybe his heart isn't cold, for the scoundrel who bought that piece pinnacle was worse than the part of that sold. This day I chased him to house and to office, but wherever I thought he'd be met, I offered him all he put on it, but no, for the land he should get. I prayed as men only to God pray. My prayers were spun and despised. And what matter how just my poor right was when he had the law on his side. I was young and yet a couple of years married to one with a voice like a bird. When she sang the ball songs of her country, every feeling within me was stirred. Oh, I see her this minute before me. With a foot it wouldn't be a crony in. Her laughing lips stoop for to kiss me, my darling, my bright eyed Eileen. Twas often with pleasure I watched her, her fond arms kindly, oh boy. Oh, it was he brought a smile to her red lips and softened the tears of her joy. With father had patience a minute. Let me wait that big drop to my brow. And father, I'll try not to cost him. But I tell you, don't preach to me now. Exciting myself, yes, I know it. The story is now nearly done. And father, your own dress is heaving. I can see the tears down from the room. When we try it, we quit, we duck it. We try to cling half to our place. Was mine sure for more than for sister. I told him so of his faith. But the little I had melted from me in making a fight for my own, and a beggar with three helpless children, out in the world I was thrown. And I mean would soon have another, another that never drew breath. The neighbors were good to us always. But what could I do instead? When Eileen and an infant before me lay dead, and by him they were killed, and as sure as I'm kneeling before you, I own to my own share of guilt. I laughed all consoling to scorn. I did not know much what I said. With Eileen a clutch in the barn, and a bundle of straws a bed, the blood in my veins boils to madness. Do they think that a man is a log? I tracked him once more to the last time, and I shot him that night like a dog. Yes, father, I shot him. But let them that makes law for the land. Look to it when they come to judgment for the blood that lies red in my hand. For the justice I never got from them. The right in their hands was unknown. Still, Father, I'm sure I'm sorry. I took the line to my own. 
that I stole out that night in the darkness while mad with grief and despair. And I drew his black soul from his body without giving him time for a prayer. Well, Father, you have the whole story. God forgive him and me for my sin. And Father, my life is now ending. But for the young ones, life begins. You will look to poor I name to the last ones. God bless you and know him at peace. And resign to that death of tomorrow. He's staring me straight in the face. How long ago since you learned that one? Took me fifty years. It's a great recitation. Is it? Is a lot of people on radio and they're mad looking for that recitation. They'll be delighted when they hear that. Good, good, good. How many more? Um, I have a couple more. I will. We'll have one later on, so with another one, so you can be thinking of another one. Right, right. We'll be back again. That was Tinny O'Leary with a beautiful recitation. Please, let's because. These yokes, they pick up all the sound. And now we have Dick Dean, and he's going to sing for us on Pucker Bella. On a summer's morning, as I went poor, with pike and shoulder to join the mahal, I was halted by a wild puck oat in a valley near the Rowdy River. Allelo, allelo. Allelu, the ugly villain. He thrust and parried to and fro, up and down across the inches, till he crashed against a big tour tog. I voted on his back for vengeance. Allelu, 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 the ugly villain. Into his flanks I dug my brogues, as he bucked and bolted through the heather, he thought I'd cry in my neck, of course, but still I wrote him hell for leather. Allelu, 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 the ugly villain. Into Cooley we came by road, we passed a five on diesel lorry, a tractor and a baby Ford, and Brian's bulldozer from East Kerry, allelu, 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 the ugly villain. Twas at the man's we took a break, I drank two pints there in a hurry. I declared to God when I came out, he was bucking goats for Dinny Murray, allelu, 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 the dirty villain. Going through my crew, we knocked the pole. Molly Murphy telephone killer me. That a German crane went through the town and outward bound for California. Allelu, 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 the ugly villain. He cantered his for two mantras and then he got into a gallop. And with thirty on the notice board, I slid go slow through Berlin College. Allelu, 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 the ugly villain. At the junction on the western road, what do you know? I was arrested in charge of cruelty to the goat. Before the court, I was cross questioned. Allelu, allelu. Allelu, the ugly villain. The puck broke loose and cleared the court, and then I rode him into Mallow, where he ate a stone of Quaker oats at a stable door marked unto Hallow. Allelu, 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 the ugly villain. Twas there I heard a bugle blow. And soon the hounds and horses gather, and then a hunting we did go. We chased the fox down to this cattle, allelu, 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 the ugly villain. With my contentment in the sport, I bought a hat, a coat and breeches, and a pigskin saddle for the goat. To jump the dikes and drains and ditches, allelu, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, the ugly villain. So then we started out once more to tower the old Blackwater Valley to where the river meets the sea. And welcome home, Sir Walter Ali, allelu, 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 the ugly villain. In Castle Town Road, a police patrol was told by phone to apprehend him. But the sergeant thought it was all a joke. He told the caller where to send him, allelu, 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 the ugly villain. There was a mission in Ratmore as we came home by the black water. The priest he shouted, there he goes, oh, Nick himself and his grandfather, allelu, 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 the dirty villain. In Malachany, we taped the show, the name of course being Poker Villa. Next day a chai came through the pause. Pay Peter Lee and fifty guineas. Allelu, 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 on poker blood. And that was Dick there, a great performer here tonight. Corrigan and Manny Post. Mid seat, mid seat, one ten. You come from Mid seat, you did. Call me. Kilcorny. Yeah. What part of Kilcorny did you come from? Brook Park. Is that a big town over there? No, not too big. <laughs> Where did you learn that sound? <laughs> no, I got it from a man in Cooley, yeah. In Cooley, yeah. yeah. Never heard it before. It's a great song, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit of a comic, anyway. Like. It is, yeah. yeah. I'd say you'd be the, the housewife's tribes around McCroom now with the city, so I hear you driving from McCroom Mills. Is that right? <laughs> That's right, all right. <laughs> so when you go into the house every morning and say, well, you sing Poker Villa for it. Well, uh, it's a wee bit uh, early in the morning to be a job, I suppose. <laughs> you do still do it if they ask. I wouldn't have mine at all. So that was Dick, ladies and gentlemen, a great performer there with on Pucker Villa. <laughs> so now, folks, we're going to have a polka set. And it consists of, I'd say, three families, the Lanes, the Barrys, and the Kellers. And dancing the set are Connie, Connie Lane, Peggy Lane, John Barry, Anne Barry, Ty Keller, Marion Keller, Ted Lane, and Mary Lane. The polka set. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we'd like to talk to a few of the people here this evening, sitting down, taking no part, but just enjoying themselves. And who are you? Fire, fire. What's your name? Tim O'Sullivan. Where are you from, Tim? Carrick and Emma. Do you do any bit of dancing? No. Are you enjoying the show? I am, yeah. Great whole night here, isn't it? Yes. And we move on to the next lady. And you're? Peggy Lucy. From Carrick and Emma? Yes, that's right. Were you always from Carrick and Emma? No, I wasn't. I'm from there, West Cork. Down all that distance? You fell in love with a character in man. Yes, sir. What was his name? Jerry Lucy. Jerry Lucy. I, I think I know that name. How do you see you, Jerry? He's a farmer. Farmer. So you came up to the good country. That's right. You enjoy yourself tonight, Jack? Yeah, yes. Oh, that's great. And we move on to this next girl here in blue. Lovely girl and a little child in her lap. And your name is? Mary O'Sullivan. Where are you from, Mary? Carrigan Just down the road. Is that right? Yeah. And you dancing tonight? No, I don't dance. You don't dance at all? No, not really. What do you do now for recreation? I watch television, see the best. Who's the boyfriend? <laughs> Is that a secret? <laughs> that's my secret. <laughs> oh, that's her secret. And this little girl, what's your name? Deborah. Huh? Deborah. Deborah. You're one of the girls to get the recitation every night, aren't you? Yeah. You're very good. Yeah. You're expecting Santa? Yeah. Of course he'll come, won't he? We move along to this next lady here, if my yoke is long enough. And your name? Mary, Mary Barrett. From? Uh, originally Kilmore, but now Carrigan in the ministry. So you moved, you moved on to Carrigan as well? I did, I did. <laughs> what kind of a place is Carrigan to live in? Ah, so it's okay. It's okay. It's nice, quiet little village, isn't it? It is, yeah, it is. Do you ever go dancing anymore? No, 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 we can't. I couldn't. How many kids have you? Four. Four small girls. So you can't go at the moment? No, no. Dancing is out completely. <laughs> you still love it one time, I suppose, yes, sir? <laughs> Where were your favourite places long ago? Ah, uh, sure, all over. Clark, in the skiing, Mill Street, occasionally. The lilac was going great in the skiing, yeah, I think. It was, it was. It was a good day, in the valley. Keep no. my age, no, like. <laughs> well, you were going back to small bit, but not that too far, you know, yeah? Into my era. <laughs> but uh, the ballrooms were great, going great. They were, yeah. How do you think now it's all lounge bars and all that now? Would you prefer to dance those? Oh, yeah, I suppose the young people have to make their own thing now and get involved in clubs and various things, but the dance hall scene is gone, gone completely. It was a great scene. Of it was, good. The bands were great. You make me feel awfully old. <laughs> Not at all, no. And I move along now to Eddie Welch, who organised the programme here tonight. Eddie, a great organiser here from Carrigan Emma. He's coming over now to tell us a bit about Carrigan Emma. Well, Eddie... I understand your father had the old hall in Carrigan, is that right? Uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, Michael Welch had run the old hall. Um, as far as I know, it started sometime in the 40s, and it was one of the, the leading halls in Cork County at the time. And down through the years, I've met people who, from all over Cork County, and outside Cork County, who then in Carrigan in the hall. Now, it was in its heyday, I would imagine, in the late 40s and early 50s. Yeah. And then... As you know, all rural halls in, into the kind in the late 50s and early 60s. But um, a lot of the big bands played here. I, when I was young fellow going to school, I remember we had the likes of Stephen Garvey from Mayo. We had um, Morris Mulcahy, Michael Callahan, Kevin, was it Kevin Flynn, I think was his name. Kevin Flynn, Kevin Flynn, he was another one, yeah. 
And of course, we had the Mystery Rovers. And I think Jerry Cabin is still here and happy. That's right, Jerry was playing with us there down on Mid Street there lately. Right. Still going great. Yeah. I don't know about Bill. Is Bill Bryan dead or I'm not yeah, sure? Yeah, Bill is dead, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Bill is dead, yeah. yeah. But of course, in, in the older days, um, the hall wasn't. Uh, Carrigan Hall wasn't always a favourite by the clergy at the time. Yeah. Um, maybe not the local clergy, but in many parishes, of course, we didn't know for the clergy as the dean of iniquity and. <laughs> you know, the, the devil was supposed to be seen there and people didn't want to go there. But of course, attitudes changed and to all that. And uh, in later years, to a, in our in our Annie Christmas state, it was used for raising funds for church funds. You know? So it finished up as? It finished up as. Yeah. But as you know, it went into decline in the late, uh, in the early 60s. And it was run by my uncle Mikey Welch, who was an invalid. Um, he was injured. He had an accident. He was an All Ireland champion. Uh, Hammer Thor and Wade Thor. He was an All-Ireland champion in 1912 and 1913. We have all Ireland medals in 1912 and 1913. And as far as I know, he was injured. Um, he was out saving here one evening, and he came in, and he was told the 56 pound weight over the bar. Yeah. And he, he had a pole across, a bar across two poles in the shed. And he came in, and he threw the 56 pound weight over the bar. And his shoes were slippery from the open grass. And he slipped. And um, as far as I know, he was thrown 16 feet 4 over the bar. And the 56 pound weight fell on his head. And yeah. uh, it injured him. And one hand and one hand was, uh, one hand and one leg was, at, was paralyzed as a result. So... Um, that was a very tough look, wasn't it? It was actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. But a 16 foot 4 that time now, how does it rate at the moment? Well, I don't think... I said that, that um, you know, a very few have beaten it, as far as I know. He had a brother, Connor Wright, who was in a, uh, who uh, competed in the Olympics in 1908 in in uh, London, and he yeah. won a bronze medal for the hammer throwing. So it was in the family. Well, I didn't take half of it. I must say, <laughs> you never won anything, did you? <laughs> no, I would win an argument. <laughs> but still, you seem to be a great organizer, and the people of Carrigan are delighted here tonight anyway because you seem to be organizing the whole show. And uh, go back again to the ballroom scene. I, I danced there years ago. They said it was an awful lazy place to get a woman, is that right? So I believe, but I was too young to know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> they all tell me, they were cycling from old place and drum tar of that time, you know, yeah. I'd say, you know, if you'd ask the older, if somebody maybe 10 years older than me, they might tell you what, what, what the, the scene was like. You know? <laughs> well, we go away from that anyway. What kind of place is Carrigan Emma to live in? Well, I think Carrigan is a great place. It's, um, situated between McCormick and Mill Street. You have two very good towns on, on either side. You have McCormick on one side, you have Carrigan and the, uh, Mill Street on the other. And Carrigan is a great place to live. We have, we have great neighbours. They're all friendly neighbours. They all get on very well together. There's a great community spirit. And next year, um, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the opening of the, of the school. Yeah. And we're asking people from all ex-pupils whether they got an invitation or not. Yes. Now, invitations have been sent out to all ex-pupils. And uh, we had a difficulty in getting everyone's address. Yeah. Now, we would ask all ex pupils whether you got a letter or not, to come back to us. So this is their chance tonight, you're saying it in t saying on it. television. I'm yeah. saying on television. And also, we would like to get all photos, or it doesn't necessarily mean all photos of the school, but if you're all photos of events that took place in him in the last 50, 100 years, we'd be delighted to get them. Now, your photo will be safe. Because Sean Sweeney McCroom, who is a professional photographer, will for get a copy of your photograph. It will be handed back to you. Yeah. And there's no question of the photograph being lost. You know? Yeah. And uh, we would hope to celebrate the opening of the school on the, the, the June bank holiday weekend of 88. And that will be in the school here, that will it? Be in the, no, we will have a mass in the church, followed by a reception in Thunderhead Hall, which is free to everyone. Yeah. That is on the Saturday night. We would hope to have something going on the Sunday, and then on the Sunday night, we would hope to have a social in the Abbey. You know? So you're going to make a weekend of it? We hope to make a weekend of it, and if anybody has any suggestions for, in, for improving that idea, we'd be delighted to hear them. And when did you say it was on again, Eddie? The June Bank holiday weekend. I think it's the 5th and 6th of June. So I'm hoping the correction there now. Yeah. So you're, you're saying to the people tonight, anyone that's looking into this or listening it on radio, if you ever went to Carrigan in school, come that weekend on the That's 5th right. and 6th. But now, um, it's, we're celebrating 50 years, 
but we went back to, to the people in the old school as well. We figured that if we went back in all the 10 or 15 or 20 years, that we would invite the people who went to the old school as well. So anyone who went to Carrigan in a new school or old school is invited to attend with any celebrations they have. Well, that should be a fantastic weekend. And you were talking about the old school or the old hall finish up as a charity, something to be done for charity or some kind that's of right. raising funds that's or something. Right. That's right, yeah. That's Tell right. us a small bit about that. Or who is it for or what kind of funds do you raise? Or Well, of course, the hall was, was uh, I suppose, it was only about 62 or 63, but... You know, towards the end of his career, it was used by, by various groups in the parish to raise funds for one thing or another, you know? Yeah. And um, all rural halls went into the kind of that stage. There were people went to McCromer, they went to Mill Street. We said the Sam Mill Street or, or, or the, um, the one in McCromer. The, the Castle Ballroom. Castle Ballroom or the one of the Cool Cool Tower. Cool Tower House. Montrose yeah. is the one, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. The Montrose took over and, of course, People went to where the, the new halls were, and the Lai Lekinitsky in a skiing, they all took over, and that was the end of the rural hall. And they bypassed Carrigan They bypassed Carrigan yes. After all the great years. All the great years. That was Eddie Welch, ladies and gentlemen, a great gentleman here in Carrigan oh. who organises all these things. A big hand there for Eddie. Murphy, great friend of mine, an old warrior, playing a tune on the accordion. Murphy there, and let's see how popular he was as a postman in Carraginima. <laughs> and of course, Matty is retired now. Congratulations, Matty. He's great service with the post, you, post office. And uh, how do you feel now that you're retired? Well, I feel I'm very old now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't look old. <laughs> I, I got on very well with all the neighbors. <laughs> Was there any troublesome neighbours now you were delivering the post? Well, I had to tune them up very well, don't you worry. <laughs> but were able to tune them all? Oh, great, yes. <laughs> any funny stories that you had delivering the post? <laughs> no, but I didn't put any, any put tinky or rasin on, and there was some good sweet music in there, right, don't you worry. <laughs> had you any trouble with dogs? No, postmen are always talking about this tough place to get into with dogs. No, not a bit in the world. I found them all very good. Dogs and all. Dogs and all. <laughs> that's, your, that's unique for a postman because, you know, I met a postman the other day and he said he, he always had a, a little bit of a sausage. <laughs> Did you ever hear about that? <laughs> Peggy's dog. <laughs> <laughs> Was Peggy's dog a problem? <laughs> <laughs> Was it Peggy or the dog was the problem? <laughs> 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 How long have you been in the post, Matt? Yeah, a little over 19 years. 19 years. I said that was great service. Really big hand there for Matt Murphy. Great gentleman and great friend, yeah.
from the top of Cairns, beautiful musician. Come on, party, give us an old tear of it. Thank you. 
over daisies and primroses We're blooming round the farm Where we parted when she whispered You'll forget me not At last there came a happy time When something sad I said We called her lips to murmur yes And surely we were wed There is a house down in a lane In a tiny garden farm There grows a flower I know it was It's the sweet forget me not She's fragrant and she's charming like the lilies in the pond. Time is passing with me by a part I am so fond. The daisies and primroses were blooming round the fall. Where we parted when she whispered, you'll forget. On the shores of all three On a beautiful midsummer's morning Looking over the lake As the waters do break By the hills in the county of Common I left from my home In the town of Athlone On my way to the three jolly pigeons It was near Glossom Town On the road I sat down I looked over the beautiful Shannon Loch Rio, Loch Ree, where the three counties meet. Longford, Westmead, and Rock Common. I stroll round her banks, the heather and peat. They're the memories I've never forgotten. Blackwater sound there for giving me a great hand in the background. And our next guest this evening is Tim Joe Reardon. He's going to play a few tunes on the accordion. And his father, I understand, was a very, very popular creamery manager in Corriganema. Is that right? <laughs> Off you go, Tim Joe. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very little. Yeah. What group do you play with? Strangers. The Strangers. And where do you usually play? Around Bellevue. It's all Irish dance music. Irish and country. Irish and country. So the, the Strangers are very popular. Yeah. Do you little? Is that right? Yeah. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Raven of the Strangers, a lovely group. You'd like to have him some night? Have you one tune before I go? Right. So he's going to give us another tune. Thank <laughs> you. 
there from one of the members of the Strangers Group. Beautiful music and fantastic music there. And now we have the Car Carrigan and Miss Set Dancers and they're going to dance. Show the lady and a hornpipe. Their names are Julie Healy, Dixon Healy, James Keller, and Welsh, Michael Healy, Celine Buckley, Donald Lucy, and Norma Welsh. And the music this time is uh, Matthew Kelleher. Thank you. 
brilliant performance there from the Corrigan Emma set, and we've wanted the set to have a few words with us here, and your name is? You dance a lot together? Yeah, How are you doing the competition? Yeah. yeah. We don't go into competitions that way often. Do you ever dance for score now, score and all? Yeah, we did, but um, not as the set was here. We dance with Oh, you dance with John Troy. How are you doing the, in the score thing? Um, we lost the month before the last year. Well, that was a great achievement, wasn't it? Right. And how are you going again this year? I'm too old for it, but, um, You're too old. I'm only 17, and I'm um, set for, um, whatever, I should probably go to the And there won't be many missy over that set, I suppose, will there? I say, change, but there's somebody saying I'm there. And they're as good as ever this year? Yeah, they are. The things they make the All-Ireland? <laughs> well, the best to look to Claude set this year, and I hope they'll do very well, yeah. Thanks very much. Beautiful performance there from the Claude Rose set. with me now is a very popular singer, Jerome Healy, to sing for you, the Black Velvet Band. <laughs> In a neat little town of Belfast, a carpenter by trade I was bound, and was many the hour of pleasure I spent in that neat little town. Till ruin and misfortune came over me, which caused me to leave my own land. That very first time I was taken, a convict to Van Diemen's land. For her eyes, they shone like diamonds, you think she was queen of the land. And her hair it turned over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. The very first time I went to walk with this pretty young maid, a gentleman close passed me by. I knew he was up to something by the roll of his shady black eyes. A gold watch he took from his pocket and placed it right into my hand. That very first time I was taken, a convict to Van Diemen's land. For her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You think she was queen of the land, and her hair it hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. So all the jolly young rovers, whenever you go in a spree, beware of the fat of the females and shun their company. But I'll treat you with strong hail and porter Until you're not able to stand And before you'll get time for the courting You'll be landed in Van Diemen's land For her eyes, they shone like diamonds You'll think she was queen of the land And her hair, it hung over her shoulder up with the black velvet band. And that was Jerem Heady, a very popular singer. Now we have a gentleman over here with the cap, uh, Paddy Poundy Murphy. <laughs> This time we have Peggy Connell and a recitation. Here I am, advancing years, my youth so dear for my 78, just my years shall rest me when I die. Dear sir, boy, 78, it is my age, for resting when I die, up in Balagoon, 
Honky cock. <laughs> One of the shortest recitations I've heard in my career. Come on, Pat. Oh, come on, Patty, come on. Only a bit of crack, anyway. Just a few words from Patty. He's going to go on television tonight for the first time. But Patty wouldn't go on television, unfortunately. So we'd have John Buckley for a song this time, please. John Buckley and his song. Very shy about coming up here, isn't it? You got to the pool room. <laughs> we can't stop until you come back. Right, Pete. One, two, testing. One, two, three. Huh? One, two, testing. One, two, three, one. And now we have John Buckley. He's going to sing his song. He's, this time he's accompanied by the Blackwater sound. So it'll take him a few seconds to get the right key and he'll be on the, the golden. She died 
Then the warder rushed the doorway And they found me there inside When they saw the lightless When they saw the lightless body And I kneeling on the floor they said, Jack, me boy, with bust you. Come back when you've laid her low. Sure, I bring now the hammer, strike the anvil. And I bring out the sparks light on the floor. My blue eyes are dull. She's the only girl I love. As she stood outside that good old smithy door. And that was John Buckley there. Lovely song, the smithy store. Where are you from, John? Macrome. What kind of Macrome is the place to live? It's a nice place. Do <laughs> <laughs> you play any bit of football around here? You look like you've had a place football. No. A bit of soccer around here? No. And what do you do for, you know, recreational? Play a bit of anything? Yeah, play more, so I... <laughs> Where do you work? The piece of Macrome Mills. Macrome Mills? Yeah. A nice crowd working there, aren't they? Yeah, I hear you're deadly man for women, is that right? <laughs> Ah, that's a joke, isn't it? Yeah. Who's the one at the moment? Oh, I can't say that. Yeah, why not? She'd be looking in this program, and she'd be delighted if you say it. <laughs> you wouldn't say it at all. <laughs> and that was John, ladies and gentlemen. Great old crack here in Carrigan tonight, yeah. <laughs> Hello, and now we have Mary Laney, a very, very popular girl around here tonight, isn't she, folks? Yeah. Of course, she's very nervous, you know. She likes myself. What are you going to sing, Mary? <laughs> Are you thinking something? <laughs> She's mad for that joke now. <laughs> but I was, down with, I was down the other morning. I was down with Mary the other morning. She gave me the tea. She's a very decent woman. We had the tea and they gave me cards and all. Help me, Mary. <laughs> right off you go. I'm tempted, my darling, to steal you away. So help me, my darling, stay out of my way. You know that I love you, and I'm not the cheating kind. I'm faced with a heartache, at no cheating mind. Don't let me just go over, no cheating mind. You belong to We have the two lads.
Tim Joe, can we borrow you? Right. Two lads from Balavona tonight, Michael and Pat Toomey, and they're going to play for us some polkas. Very talented lads there from Balavona, Michael and Pat told me. Have you another one lads before you go?
nice man. It's beautiful music here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're a very talented gentleman here tonight. And you know, I'm nearly half afraid of this bloke because he seems to be do, able to do everything. And your name? Uh, Johnny Keller. And you're from? Uh, Clown Road. Clown Road. Yeah. Tell me about all these acts that you do. Well, there isn't much to them, really. I just, um, actually, you just uh, put a lot of work into them and you just have a go on. That's just like, no more about it. Like. <laughs> but what actually do you do now? You walk on your hands and tell us something about it anyway. Okay, um, I do a little bit of juggling. Um, there and then I uh, do a little bit of some sort of a car and um, uh, walk on my hands and so on and so forth. Things like that, like, you know, some, uh, you know. You never tried the motorbike yet? Uh, I wouldn't mind. You think you could do the same thing? Well, if I got an incentive, probably would, yeah. <coughs> if you're looking for a sponsor now, I suppose, did some fellow give you plenty of money to try these things, would you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you another Houdini? Uh, no, oh, I just got the only good thing anyway. <laughs> but, uh, you never know now if you tried it. Uh, I'm uh, very untalented, really, but uh, I have a go. You have a go. And you've done this recently, I think, in McCroom, did you? Uh, no, in court, actually. Oh, it was in court? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, um, that was about four years ago actually and you know the you know it, it was a hubbub um a hubbub with whom uh kind of uh they were combined kind of show like you know and uh, just you know jumped over cars and little things like that like you know it wasn't uh not a lot of really like you know just yeah just like i'm just i'm just untalented really like and just uh if you try to call me kind of uh just uh, a good trier yeah, but I think you jump you over cars and little things like that, you know. <laughs> I would like to th I would like to think if you tried big things. Yeah. Do you ever try and get a chance to go over buses? I'd love to. I'd love to. And if some fellow sponsored a motorbike now, would you have a go? I would certainly would have a go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting it out to the people of We're putting it out to the people of McCroon tonight if they sponsor this gentleman with a motorbike. Well, how many buses would you go over, you think? I, 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 I must uh, go to the please. But uh, all I want is a good springboard, and I guarantee anybody that I'll take, I, I'm prone for anybody to take me on, if, uh, in that line. Anybody. So that's a challenge to the people around here tonight, just looking at this program around the crew in that district. If you want to go this fella, this is the man to take. And I think you're a bit of a singer as well, is that right? Uh, a, a very, very, very fair singer, like, uh, kind of, they go inside actually, the whole lot. <laughs> but you're going to give us a song tonight. <laughs> you're going to give us a song anyway. Light. As I walked in the dark side one evening so far to view the still waters and taste the night air, I met an old fisherman singing the song. I want to take me away, boys. Me time is not long. I wrap me up in me oil skins and jump her. No more in the dock I'll be seen. I just tell me old shipmate, I'm taking a trip, mate, and I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green. And Fiddler's Green is a place I know well. Where fiddlers go if the dawn goes to hell Where the weather is fair and the dolphin to play And the east coast of Greenland is far, far away I Wrap me up in me oil skins and jumpers And no more on the dock I'll be seen I just tell me old shipmates I'm taking a trip, mate, and I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green. And now we're in dock, and a long trip is through. There's pubs, and there's slubs, and there's lassies there, too. All the girls are all pretty, and the beer is all free, and there's bottles of rum. Growing on every tree, I wrap me up in me oil skins and jumpers. No more in the dock I'll be seen. I'll tell me old shipmate, I'm a taking a trip, mate, and I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green. Now I don't want a low, not a half, not me. I just give me the breeze and the good rolling sea. And I'll pay me old jukebox 
as I sail along with the wind from the ridges to sing me her song. I wrap me up in me eyes of skins and gumbers, and I'm all in the dark I will be seen. I just tell me all shipmates, I'm taking a shipmate, and I feel from there and tell a dream. Before you go, is there something you could perform now in a small space here tonight? Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about you. You were supposed to be genius at gymnastics. Is that right? Oh, absolutely no genius. No, don't get me wrong there. I wonder. That's what all the people say around here. I thought you could perform something. Oh yeah. So you're off to throw out the challenge tonight, anyway. And yeah, I'll try to do it again. Anybody have a question or any? Any distance at all, car, fire engine, give me uh, the facilities of a springboard and I put on it. And that would be a great idea you now for charity or something like that, wouldn't it? Well, I I'm, I'm definitely would. I would love to do for charity, absolutely. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this program tonight, if you want this great genius to be with you, he'd do anything for charity, all right? Thank you very much, John. <laughs> the Blackwater sound... Peter's going to sing a song for us this time. Peter and the Blackwater song. Yeah? Mm. And this time Peter's going to sing for you. Catch me if you can. My name is Dan and I'm your man. No better man than Peter Lane and the Blackwater sound. One, one. Thank you. 
Thank you anyway. Of course, Daniel Keller, a very important man around Carrigan, is he? Very good. He's very good. He's, have you any more to say about the crowd around here? The great crowd, aren't they? I'd like to thank um, the band, first of all, the Blackwater Sound, LTV, and our Cox Community Radio, and all the local talent that came here tonight to provide entertainment. So, very good. So, that's Mr. Crowley, a very happy man. Give a really big hand, everybody. Say. So that's it tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Carraganema, a wonderful night's entertainment, and uh, of course, Daniel Keller wants a really big hand for the work he's put into this show tonight. <laughs> of course, there's another man, Eddie Welsh, the organizer of this show. Give him a really big hand, everybody, please. <laughs> and of course, the Blackwater sound, the musicians tonight were fantastic. And uh, Peter is after telling me that he have these cards tonight. He's going to hand around to you before we leave here. So if you want a band for a wedding, social, or dance, Peter Lane and the Blackwater Sound, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. <laughs> to our young dancers tonight, they were lovely. To the little girls to get the recitation, to our singers and all, we'd like to thank you very sincerely for coming along tonight. And on behalf of local radio, I was delighted to be here tonight myself. And we have a show, we'll have it on the road, and we'll give you the tape. I don't know if you can hear it in Carrigan or not, but we'll give a tape anyway of all the show tonight. We're delighted to be here. So, so now I think we'll hand back our last number of the evening to Peter Lane and the Blackwater Sound. I'd like to thank you for giving one round of applause to very popular and see Dunham was giving one round of applause. I don't forget there's a woman over in the corner. She's taping your night. I can't think of her name. Mary Cullity, so she's taking him for a so give her under the to Mary Cullity. Yeah. Thank you, boys and girls. So we're going to finish off the very start sing along. So make the best of it. So we hope you didn't enjoy yourself as much as we enjoyed. Thank you. I will see you again sometime in the near future. Good night and dance. I don't even know them myself. We'll see you when we finish off with the last one. So good night to you. Thanks to me, home to you all. There's one fair colony in Ireland With memories so glorious and grand Where nature as an artist is bound to It's the orchard of air and green land How well it's the cradle in the deep What's found a body tied with the dream And it bears at the heart of its cradle the ashes of ground I own my little home Although I am all It's No matter where I wander Oh, my God. 
Thank you. 